Whether you've poured your creative energy into crafting the perfect careers page, or just want to share some quick FAQs, you'll be able to make content accessible to anyone in the world in just a few clicks with Notion Sites. In this video, we'll publish a page to the web and configure some simple settings in the Publish menu. First, let us show you how to make your page public. Go to the page you want to publish to the web and click on its Share menu at the top right. You'll notice two tabs, Share and Publish. Navigate to the Publish tab to view all of the site options. Clicking on this Publish button will publish this Notion page, alongside all the subpages or databases nested inside it, to the web. Once clicked, this Notion page now exists as a public URL. To copy the link, click here. Note that the public link is different than the one provided here, which you may share with other people in the workspace so they can edit the page from their Notion account. Lovely. This portfolio is now its own website and subpages work as expected to open content as its own page. A quick and easy way to express yourself and your accomplishments with no coding help needed. Also, whenever changes are made to your Notion page, updates will show up instantly on the public version. Now let's explore these settings. When you publish, you'll want to configure three settings at a minimum. In another video, we'll cover all of the options available for further customization, so stay tuned. First, Domain names dictate the URL by which people will be able to visit your site. You can set up custom domains in the Settings and Members menu here. To do so, navigate to Sites and select New Domain to add an available domain for your site. Notion domains are freely available and will show up on the web as domain.notion.site, while custom domains are those that are purchased through a third party. Provided no other Notion user has claimed that domain already, you'll be able to set any line of text here. Once set, Pages shared to the web will be under yourdomain.notion.site. Back in the Publish tab, you'll get to choose which domain you want to host your site on. If you're an entrepreneur with multiple business endeavors, you might have one domain for each, or maybe you have different domains for different types of assets, like your blog and your professional life. In this case, we'll select the custom domain stephanieleedesigns.com for our portfolio site. To learn how to host your Notion site on a custom domain, watch this video. Next, decide whether you'd like to turn on search engine indexing. If you're hoping to drive traffic to your site via search engines like Google, you'll want to ensure that the SEO title and meta description accurately reflect what users can expect to see on your site and entice them to click on the result. You can change each of those here. Note that you can only change metadata with a plus plan or higher. In the case of our personal portfolio website, I'll make sure my SEO title matches my website heading, Stephanie Lee Designs. Then in the description, I'll paste a quick introduction to myself and my work. Pro tip, if you're using Notion with AI, you might be able to generate your SEO description by highlighting some text and asking AI to write an SEO description for my website that covers this information. Easy. Finally, you'll have the option to set a link expiration. This is good for when you want to share something temporarily, but don't want it to stay available on the web forever. This could be useful for sharing a piece of work with a client or more personal content like a trip recap to share with family. Once the link expires, the content will no longer be accessible, ensuring you maintain control over who can see your content and for how long. In this case, we want our portfolio site to be evergreen, so we won't set an expiration. Once your settings are configured to your liking, all you need to do is utilize this clipboard icon to grab the link to your site, and you can share it like any other URL. In this video, we'll cover the advanced options housed in site customizations here. By the way, Notion has built-in page analytics that will allow you to view site visits over time. To find these, click on the clock icon in the top right corner of your Notion page, then click Analytics. Here, you'll be able to see the number of views over time in aggregate as well as the number of unique visitors that have visited your site on any given day. Happy sharing!